Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're doing part two of what if not to work back in time. So let's get gang, gang, we on it. Wait, oh, wait, gang, gang, we on it. Uh. Gang, gang, we on it. Not a skateboard, but we rollin'. <laughs> Which means that we're doing the land of waves to like, so the start of the tuning exams. So let's get into that. So after months of, or after like a month of doing, you know, D rank missions, Naruto knows that now is the round of time that he and his team had gotten the land of waves mission. But Naruto also noticed something. Just like Kurama predicted, <clears throat> he Naruto doesn't seem to care about him the way that she did in, in like, in his past. But since nothing seems off with Sasuke, Sasuke is like around, he's just as dark as he would be, or he's as, some would say, evil as he was when he was about to leave Konoha. Chris Karama would say that that means that, um, that most likely means that some things have changed due to our presence being back here. Or we probably we probably enter like a parallel world or a par or a different timeline where some things are the same and some things aren't. This was Naruto's theory. I'm talking with uh well Kurama's theory talking with Naruto. Naruto is not that smart, I'm gonna be honest. Kurama is he has to be. The man is over a thousand years old. So <clears throat> anyways, so Naruto would demand a higher mission rank. Now Gakashi would tell Lokage that his team definitely deserves it, especially Naruto, saying that Naruto has worked the hardest of any of his teammates, seeing that he's seen Naruto improve in leaps and bounds from what the academy says, saying that Naruto could possibly be even be stronger than, you know, Sasuke if, you know, he was given the right opportunities and stuff he, if, to show it. So, you know, he be heroes and being heroes and but you know, decide to want decide why not? Why not give them a mission? And we give them a C rank escort mission to basically escort Tazna back to the land of waves. So <clears throat> now I'm sorry. So now he gives him a call in their client, and Tazuna would still make the same joke about Naruto. Now Kakashi would, um, and Naruto, you know, it would still get on Naruto's nerves, even though he knows Ta this Tazuna is not yet the Tazuna that he knows in the future, or well, the Tazuna that died in the future. I don't even know if Tazuna lived long enough to see Naruto become Okage. <clears throat> but you know, um, anyways. Anyways, so, you know, Naruto would let it slide. Now, Kakashi would give them the orders to meet tomorrow, saying that they need to prepare for it. Long, um, probably like a week-long mission to protect them from bandits and everything. Maybe um, two weeks. So his team would do this, but Naruto would know to probably um, be ready for more. So Naruto would go to the Force of Death where he will continue his train. But we would be shocked out of, you know, out of his meditate, well, to begin meditating and everything, to basically trying to enter, learn a way to enter stage mode better. You would be shocked to he when he hears a kunai, whiz uh, like a kunai whistling sound, like when it, when someone throws a kunai at you. And Naruto dodges it and catches the kunai. But then Naruto sees a purple blur try to um, zoom past him. But not, well, that's what I'm describing as. But Naruto can see him very clearly. He can see Anko, and Anko can see him following her with his eyes. And Anko tries to appear behind Naruto, but Naruto has already gotten the kunai from his pouch and headed to his back, um, to Anko's leg, where she was at. While Anko has her hand on the other kunai. Now, Anko has not yet noticed this. He says, who are you kidding? What are you doing in here? Naruto says, I'm Naruto Uzumaki, and I'm here to train. Now, I recommend you get away from me before you are, before I, you know, hit you with my kunai. 
<laughs> what kunai kid? The only kunai in your hand I have in my hand also. It says you might not have noticed, but you should probably look to your right and look down towards your leg. Now, Unc Uncle would obviously follow his directions and would look down to see another kunai at her at a legit at her leg. She says it's right above my artery. Right? I don't know if there's any arteries in there. But anyways, probably it's probably not. You never know. Anyways, Uncle would then jump back. He says you're pretty good, kid. But let's see how you do against this. His uncle runs towards Naruto and starts throwing kicks, punches, and everything. Now, I'm pretty sure you've seen Naruto versus Delta. Imagine that, except for Kid Naruto just swatting away uncle's attacks. Naruto begins to yawn and says, are you done yet? His uncle grits her teeth. She says, you know what, kid? I like you. You got guts, but you won't be able to handle this next attack. His uncle says, striking shadow snakes. Snakes come out of her sleeves and goes to hit Naruto. But Naruto, what shock her is when Naruto catches the snakes. And then crushes them in his hands. Causing their heads to legit pop off. Then goes surprised with this. But then Naruto disappears. And knocks her out. Naruto begins his training. And a couple hours later, Anko will wake up to see a bunch of the... Um, a bunch of clones of the um of the blonde kid that she just fought and lost to. She says so fast. Hey kid, all the clones will look at her. Why don't you you know let me train you? I bet I can make you even stronger than you are. As Naruto says, I just beat you and I don't need your help with training. Maybe. And Naruto says, it might actually be a good idea to train with her. To find any holes in my taijutsu. This Enko isn't like my Enko. It's Naruto, then says, fine. I will take you up on your offer. But this will have to wait till I get back from my mission. As Naruto disappears. As Enko says, he also knows the body flicker technique. That's not what that was. That was just Naruto's pure speed. So Naruto enters, um, go into his house. And would you know, begin going through stuff and f um, looking for things. But what was shocked Naruto was when he f didn't, f when he f um, moved his dresser behind and found a, see, like a hidden door. Now Naruto would um, you know, break the door down and we'll go in. To which Naruto will see a gigantic ass room for weapons, scrolls, and all this. It's a shock, Naruto. You know, due, due to the fact that he's in, this wasn't here. Well, as far as he knows, this wasn't here in his old apartment. So when Naruto will look around, he will see the Uzumaki scroll and the Namikaze scroll. As Naruto says, what? As yes, as we seen as I believe as we seen in a um not Road to Ninja. I don't believe that was Road to Ninja. Was it Road to Ninja? Wait a minute. I believe it was Road to Ninja. Uh, I'm not pretty sure but I believe it. Where Naruto, you know, was stuck in it, um not the infinite Sukiomi, but the I, don't, I can't remember that fucking name for my life. But yes, when Naruto walked into his apartment to see that it was his parents, that him and his parents lived here. So, anyways, yes. Now, Naruto will see, um, will see that these are, I will basically understand that these are his parents' scrolls. So Naruto sees a bunch of yellow and red. But Naruto would find something that would honestly shock him. A red katana. Naruto would pick it up. Naruto would see a note on it. As it says, for Naruto. I'm hoping that I'm alive after the night. Uh, I hope, um, this is in case the night tells the game store my birth. I left this for you for when, um, <clears throat> for when you turn a certain age. The Hokage will come in here and give you this, you know, this sword. 
And if your father is alive, he will give it to you when you turn around the age of 14. So, I hope you do well, son. From your mother, Kushina Uzumaki. Naruto asked Kurama, did he know about this the whole time? Kurama says he didn't... Okay, he says he may have known. But it wasn't his place to tell him. Seeing that the third Okage should have given to him. If the third Okage would have lived long enough. And the fact is that... um. Basically, he wasn't him and Naruto weren't even you know friends at the time. It wasn't that it wasn't his place to tell him, or he was never going to, especially at that time. So Naruto will understand, and we'll begin packing. So the next day, Naruto and his team will set out for the land of waves. Now on their way, Naruto will come across a puddle. Now this puddle, um, Naruto will say, "Puddle, huh?" Naruto attack Kakashi and went, um, silently show him the puddle. To which Kakashi would nod. But Kakashi is wondering, how could, you know, not, this is not like the Naruto that everyone, that the Academy reports and everything is, and the ones that he's seen. This is not the same Naruto that he knows from his days in Anbu. Or his days still watching over him after being in Anbu and everything. This is not the same Naruto. So he's wondering. How could Naruto be hiding his skills the whole time? Now, eventually, two the two brothers will come out of the puddle. But what shocked Naruto is when a third brother will come out. I'm going to call him Miso, because it's Mizo, Gosu, Mizu, and Miso. Yeah. They would then try to wrap their chains around on Kakashi. But Kakashi will be shocked when, Naruto, when he sees a red katana, which he saw Kushina wield. As Naruto has cut through the, uh, basically cut through the, the chain. As Naruto then says, I guess it's time that I deal with you two. Because Naruto doesn't need to keep them alive. And he plans to change it all. But these two have no significant, no, no, you know, they really don't matter in Naruto's future. Shinato will easily will quickly dispose of them with the kunai to the head to uh, Maizu, the cut off head to Gosu, and would then what well, was shock Kakashi is when Naruto formed around Sengon and slammed it into uh, Miso's <laughs> yes Miso I mean, Miso's head, completely making the head explode. Naruto would then walk over towards the team and says, "Let's go." Kashi says, Naruto, we could have gathered, we could have gathered information from them. Naruto says, I already know who they're off after. I suspected it since we got our mission from how I, from something. Since yesterday, that we would be attacked by ninjas, which is why I brought my sword. What did you, I found it this morning. Yesterday, actually. Wasn't really looking for it, but I found it, and now it's mine. Sasuke says, Naruto, what jutsu was that? And teach it to me. Naruto says, I won't be teaching you my jutsu, Sasuke. Never will, never won't. So, Kakashi says, don't worry, Sa As Naruto says, Dan takes out his katana and points to Kakashi's throat. Now, Kakashi didn't even see Naruto move the katana. But, he, it's not, but you know, he'll be sure shy about what Naruto says next. As Naruto says, you teach him that, and I will Cut your balls off, Kakashi. Kakashi is shocked by this, but you know, Naruto says, Naruto says, good. And I'll burn all your stupid books in front of you. As Naruto knows that they're not stupid, because as an adult, he really enjoyed them. But, anyways, yes. Sasuke will be mad, saying, How dare he! Threatened Kakashi into not teaching him a jutsu that he deserves to know. But, you know, Naruto continued with the rest of the team for two. Now, no, what no one you know, the rest of the team would notice is Sakura behind them, staying behind, barfing after seeing what Naruto just done. And Sakura says, Naruto's a monster. Anyways, so now Naruto is, um, and the team are going. Well, Naruto will say Kurama. Yes. 
It's about time. Do we want to show our power? No. Once we cross this lake, the opposite will attack. It will give me enough time to gather sage mode. To gather enough nature energy for sage mode. Right. How are you going to cover your eyes? I'm pretty sure your father used sage mode in front of Kakashi. Um, a mask. As Naruto then makes a shadow clone, as Kakashi asks Naruto, what is he doing? As the shadow clone begins to meditate, as the rest of the team sits, gets onto the boat, Kakashi says, why did you leave a shadow clone? Naruto says, there's no reason. Naruto begins to put on a mask. Now, Kakashi would be wondering why is Naruto have a mask on. So it was Sakura and Sasuke. But Tazuna would think, oh, it's just some ninja thing. Now, when they get on in, um, on land, you know, a couple minutes later, Naruto's clone wouldn't have dispersed yet, but it's still gathering nature energy. It's almost to a full reserve of nature energy. It's still siege mode, but it's still gathering nature energy, basically. And when they would get to land, they would continue to walk. Until Kakashi would then say, duck, grabbing Sasuke and Sakura and um, Tazuna. But he would be shocked to see Naruto not ducking. He's about to grab... Try to grab Naruto when the blade is in front of Naruto, but Naruto will catch it with his hands, grabbing the handle with his hands. As Naruto would then swing it. I know we've seen that Ichigo thing, um, I believe he was called him in his, I'm not sure if it's Vastal Lorde when he first entered that form. And we see him swing the sword, so imagine that, just less powerful. Kakashi will and the team will be shocked. Now it just says by the sword I can tell that you're Zabuza Momochi. And from the reports, I know that you have an apprentice, so you should both really come out. Zabuza says shit. He knows about Haku. But what reports? I need to find these and get rid of them all. Momochi says, you know what here? How about we have a fair fight? Zabuza says, I like that kid. How about it? As Naruto will grab his sword, Zabuza will recognize the sword as the Red Death Sword, a woman that he faced years ago but and almost died to when he was just a chun. As Naruto and Zabuza would then speed off at speeds that only Kakashi could keep up with, but Kakashi would notice that Naruto was winning and Zabuza is a lot slower than Naruto. Naruto is upon Zabuza faster than Zabuza could have been upon Naruto. Which was shock Kakashi. Kakashi says something is definitely wrong with Naruto. He says I'm going to find out the entire truth of what's happening here after this. Sasuke, as um, Zabuza then begins to roll off killing it. But then what will shock everyone is when Naruto will roll off so much more killing it than Zabuza. Forcing Sasuke to, like, it's legit forcing Sasuke to awaken his Sharingan. He's trying, as Sasuke can see that's somewhat slower, but not still, he still can only see blurs and the clashes, like the, the clash, you know, clashes, the clash, the clash things. I didn't know how to describe that, I was so sorry. As, you know, Sasuke, um, Naruto then disappears again. It's Kakashi says, where did he? She looks behind Zabuza. As Zabuza says, too late. Naruto says, oh really? As um, Naruto and Zabuza would then, um, Naruto and Zabuza would disperse. As Zabuza appears behind um, Team 7 and Kakashi, we'll be shocked to see Naruto already there. As Naruto then stabs Zabuza right through his shoulder, disabling the, one of his arms. As then Simbon would go hit Zabuza, as someone would appear next to Naruto. But Naruto would, dis uh, would disappear and appear behind him, knocking the, the hunter in out. Because he says, Naruto, why would you... Naruto says, this is obviously not a unreal hunter in. As I said, this is Zabuza's partner. How did you... I keep up with things, Kakashi. I have a lot more secrets than what you guys should, than what anyone else knows. As Kakashi and them get ready to leave, as they continue to walk with Naruto dragging the two by their collars. 
Because when they arrive in Tazuna's house, Naruto will ask Kakashi to come into a room with him so that they can interrogate this dude. Now, Naruto, knowing everything, just wants, you know, to keep up appearances so that Kakashi doesn't get suspicious on how he knows about Gato and everything. So, eventually, Naruto will force, um, um, not Kakashi. Naruto will tell Kakashi to learn, and when then, when Kakashi does it and turns around, he sees Naruto enveloped in red chakra, as that was how how Kuo eventually enveloped in this thing with chakra. As Kakashi, Kakashi can see Zabuza and Haku's wound, well, Zabuza's wound healing. As they eventually begin to stir. Zabuza, Zabuza reaches for a sword but notices that he doesn't have one. Naruto says, Zabuza Momochi. And you. From what I can, what I'm, what I'm sensing off you, prop, you have the ice release. And since we're so close to mist, I believe you're from the Yuhi clan? You're not Yuhi. That's not the right clan. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So, um, you're from the You're from the Yuki clan if I'm not cor if I'm correct. Yes, yeah, they were both as um Haku and not. It's not to says now I'm gonna need information. They say we won't tell you. As Naruto begins to channel red chakra. As Naruto then grabs Zabuza and Haku, pulling him into his landscape. It's not to says Kurama. Zabuza and Haku look behind Naruto to see a gigantic ass nine tailed fox staring at them like he's going to eat them, scaring them, scaring them shitless. And base and you know, Naruto says, Are you going to tell me everything now, or do I hand you over to my partner here? Zabuza and Haku were both nodding as they disappear from the um, landscape. It's Naruto says, Now spill as. You know, um, <clears throat> as um, Zabuza and Haku explain to Naruto that the, a man named Gato hired them to kill Tazuna so that he doesn't free his people from his reign by building this bridge. Naruto says, "Okay." As Naruto asks Zabuza, "Why did he take oh, oh take take this mission?" Zabuza explains to him that Kiri is in a bloodline war. As Naruto says, "I think I have a solution to that. Why don't you two go back to Konoha?" Kakashi says, Naruto, you can't just, Naruto says, quiet Kakashi, I want you to go back to Konoha and request a team to help from Konoha, request a team to help you end the Kiri bloodline war. We both know Konoha cherishes its bloodlines. <clears throat> Naruto leans in and says, and you two will request me on that mission. You will pay top dollar. To have me there. You got that? As, um, Zabuza and Haku were not, Kakashi couldn't really read what Naruto was saying. Naruto walks out of the room. And Naruto says, Kakashi, put them in a prisoner scroll. Kakashi would do this, knocking the two out and putting them in a prisoner scroll. It's basically like a stasis scroll for prisoners. So that they don't die and everything. They're basically put in stasis or something. I know you guys know, probably know what that is. I hope so. <clears throat> Anyways, Naruto and his team, with, uh, Kakashi, not Naruto and his team, <clears throat> Kakashi um, would then leave the room and would go to Naruto, saying that he needs to speak with him outside now. As when they leave outside and go deep into the forest, Kakashi would grab Naruto or pin him against a tree. Saying, who are you? And where is Naruto? And Naruto says, really, Kakashi Sensei, is that really a way to treat your Sensei's son? Kakashi's eyes will widen. How do you? I have known for a while, just chosen to never tell anyone. What? Not even the Hokage? Not even the Hokage. Then why are you telling me this? So that you can leave me alone. That's not the truth, Naruto. You're easily Joni. You're easily high Joni. You're easily low Kage to high Kage is speed. Is from what I've seen, Naruto. You're lying to me. Who are you really? What's up, pictures? My name is Brian. I've been watching you since you were a kid. I know that you weren't training enough to build up this speed. So who are you? What have you done with Naruto? So Kashi lifts up his head and then shows the Sharingan. 
as Naruto pulled, then begins to channel QB's chakra, forcing Kakashi into his mindscape. As Kakashi would look around and would then see, basically see Naruto. This Naruto was different. This Naruto was older. As Naruto then, as um, uh, not Naruto, Kakashi then says, "Who are you? Where's Naruto?" Naruto would turn around. It says, "Hey, Sensei, it's me, Naruto." It says Naruto is not that old. Hey, I'm not old. I'm probably almost the same age as you. Uh huh. Where's Naruto? As Kakashi would then look behind her to see the cage for the Naruto is open. It says, "You're QB." So Naruto says, "I'm no QB." Let me explain things simply to you, Kakashi. <clears throat> Kakashi, do you remember that one time in your when you were a child when some when some strangers showed up in the line incident when you were younger? Yes, I remember that mission. A kid with blonde hair and whisker marks and a dude who looks just like Tenzo showed up. You know why? Why? Because that was me when I was younger. Well, older, but younger, in a sense. You see, Kakashi, an explosion happened with the ley lines, forcing me into the past, which I eventually met my father, Minato. And then, at the end of that mission, I met you, when we were sealing away the ley lines. But that's not, and now, I am here again because of time travel, once more. I am Naruto from the future, the seventh Hokage. Lord sixth. Wait, didn't you just say le seventh? Day? Why are you saying Lord? Oh my God, I became Hokage. Yes. Oh man, it seems like so much work. As Naruto says, you know, I never expected him to react like this. If you're Naruto from the future, then tell me something only future you would know. Um. Show me something only the future you will know. Alright. As Naruto begins to clasp his hands. As, as um in the mindscape, Naruto basically enters a, a QB avatar version of Naruto. But he you know, he can see another QB behind him. He sees this QB isn't really as, you know, big as it was before. That's some of his chakra was siphoned off to create the avatar. Kashi says, you, you you, really are Naruto. Yes. Why are you in the past? Shouldn't you be going back to the future? Me and QB thinks that when I travel back into a past due to an explosion of ener ener energies that causes someone to time travel, we believe that it wiped out my entire timeline. So there's no voice, nowhere for me to go. I am stuck, permanently stuck here to recreate my timeline. Some things are different. Some things are the same. Well, most things are the same. Well, some things are severely different. What? Yes. I believe you. I can tell from my starting gun that you're not lying to me. Good. Because we have a lot more work to do. Because she says, right. They leave the mindscape. And be the force to go back in. Kakashi says, team, we're going to be training you for the next week until the bridge is done. So time skip to the end of that week. The bridge is finally done. But Naruto, when they turn around, Naruto and then um, hear clapping and everything. As Naruto says, I have this. And Sasuke says, no. Kakashi knocks out Sasuke to get, wants, wanting to get a chance to see Naruto's power. As he then knocks out uh, Sakura, he says, Go, Lord Seventh, show me your power. It's Naruto was smirk. Naruto says, Kakashi Sensei, you can't even tell the Hokage about this. If too many people know, then I, um, then something's going to change. And they're going to ask me things that shouldn't, that they shouldn't even know. Right. I won't. Now go. As Naruto would disappear in, in a burst of speed, appearing behind everyone, as all of Gato's men drop. Scott says, What are you? What are you? I'm the Naruto in Turkey. As Naruto be then begins to be enveloped in red chakra, and this is on purpose, 
entering a one-tailed state. As he then shoots out a chakra arm of the nine-tailed chakra and grabs Gato, as Gato begins to scream out in pain. As he, QB chakra is basically, Naruto's forcing QB chakra to be basically poisonous to everyone. Like if someone was to touch it, it'll burn them. As Naruto then slowly begins to melt through Gato. As Gato's dead before Naruto even enters halfway through his body. Because of, you know, Naruto uh, touching his heart and everything. You know, he grabbed him in a big old hand. So yeah. The chakra touched his heart and everything. And it began to burn until there's nothing left. As Naruto drops Gato, as he's now dead. As Tazuma and the town people, um, you came came to see the bridge to see not to see came to see the bridge saw the final fight. He began to cheer and run to Naruto. And we've all seen Naruto after the pain fight as Konoha threw him in the air. So basically, the same thing would happen here. As Kakashi was smirk. As after this, they would throw a celebration. And a couple days later, Team Ten will not Team Ten. Team Seven will leave. And Naruto will then ask Kakashi, "Where's the two scrolls?" <clears throat> so and eventually, Kakashi, Kakashi will be looking for, and eventually will hand Naruto the scrolls. As Naruto will say, "Thank you, Sensei." As um he undoes, he unseals Zabuza and Haku. As Naruto says, "Wake up." As he slaps them too. Wake up! So, Haku says, Naruto. Um, right. You're Naruto, right? Yes. Where are we? You're not gonna kill us. Sakura and Sasuke says, huh. You're scared of the dead last? As that was as Haku's eyes widening. He says, He's the dead last. Yes. Who's the rookie of the year? Sasuke says, Me. Naruto says, don't worry about them. I only kept the dead last position because I wanted to hide my my power. You get a team that would be powerful. But, you know, I didn't know I would be on a team with the with a jerk. Sakura says, Naruto, be nice to Sasuke. Naruto says, come on, you two. You have to keep that promise. But I believe you guys should wait a little bit. The two will nod. As Naruto would escort them... And, and then to Konoha, as you know, Naruto would tell Hiruzen and uh, Kakashi would plead for Hiruzen to let them hear so that they can gather some funds before going off to ask for a mission to go to Kirita and the Civil War. Now, Hiruzen would give them, grant them this, and would then uh, give them a little an apartment. But Naruto would then tell, uh, tell him to give them a part in the apartment in the building that he's in. Saying that he doesn't trust any other body with Haku and her bloodline. As Naruto consented, a root agent. As he reason would ask what bloodline. As Naruto says, Haku's from the Yuki clan. The, the bloodline you, you, the uses of the ice release. As he reason's eyes go wider. As he would just say, fine. As Naruto consented, Donzo's root ninja is leaving. So then Naruto, um, once they leave, Naruto then senses it. Senses him again as he's following him again. As he's already sent this message to Donzo. So now um, Naruto then sees, senses him following him again. But then would disappear with Haku and Zabuza behind him. Um, Zabuza didn't really sense it because, you know, he's a root agent. But Naruto would and would disappear and would appear again with the man's head in his um, hand. As Zabuza says, he was, yes, he was following us to get information on Haku. And you too, Zabuza, most likely to get your sword. There's a man here named Donzo, who will try to kidnap you too, and force you into his root program. He has a stolen Sharingan into his, I can't fucking remember which eye it is, into his eye, and one of his eyes has bandaged up. Zabuza, I believe you remember the story about Shisui Uchiha. She's be at the body flicker? Yes. I remember he has. He used to be told to have a, a powerful Genjutsu that allows him to basically mind control people into doing things that it makes it seem like they want to do it. Right. That's the eyes Donzo stole. So you need to be careful around him. And he can cast it on you without you even looking at him. Right. But he will have to unveil his Sharingan first. 
I got it. I'm good. You two are going to be staying in my living room until the Hokage can get your apartment settled. 62 or not. As Naruto then say, all right. Kakashi Sensei says that he wants to talk to us later on today. As Naruto dis um and then um get the Naruto gets the house prepared with shadow clones, cleans it up a, a lot, and then um you know lays it out where Zabuza and Haku can stay on his two couches. As Naruto um later that night will leave to go meet up with Kakashi and his team. Because he says, from what I've seen on the missions, you you guys are ready for the tuning exam. So here are your papers. Me and the Okage talked about it earlier than what normal Joni would. You are the you guys are the first rookie team to be entered in the tuning exams for a long then for a long time. So be happy. Not to and on the rest of the team say yes. <clears throat> As they will leave, getting prepared for the tuning exams. And this is where we're going to be prepared to leave off the what if. Uh, this is part two of what if Naruto went back in time, and here.